Hey everyone, this is Josh Carney from Carney Media Group and the Music Tech Help Guy YouTube channel. And today I'm here at my home office and I want to show you my new secret weapon for guitar recording, in particular tracking DI guitar. This is the Cloudlifter ZI from Cloud Microphones. These are the same people that make the famous Cloudlifter mic activator. So I'm so excited to show you this because not only is it a mic activator, it's also a variable impedance control for both microphones and DI instruments like guitar, bass, and keyboards. Cloud does have another unit called the Cloudlifter Z, which is similar to this, but just for microphones. The ZI has a combo XLR and quarter inch input on it. In this video, I'm gonna use it with DI guitar and use the variable impedance control to dial in the tone that I want. Since I'm going DI, I'll be using AmpSim plugins, Bulldozer and Grind Machine 2 from Audio Assault. So let's check out the controls on this bad boy. You've got your combo input and a mic level output. That's important to note because you won't be using an instrument level input on your interface or preamp. You'll use a mic level input. You've got your variable impedance control, there's a high pass filter you can kick in, and keep in mind that the high pass is also variable. And then you have an output level switch, minimum, more, and max. With the Cloudlifter ZI, you can have up to 25 dB of clean gain with microphones, and up to 15 dB of extra gain with high Z instrument signals. So how is this thing powered? Well, it actually uses phantom power. Now the phantom power does not pass through to your microphones or instrument, it simply powers the box. So make sure to kick in the 48V on your interface, mixer, or preamp. So first let's start with just a real nice hard rock and metal tone. For this I'll be using Grind Machine 2 from Audio Assault. <laughs> So it sounds pretty good, but it sounds like you could use a bit more drive. It could be a bit fuller sounding. So on the Cloudlifter ZI, I'm gonna play around with the variable impedance and also play around with the output setting. I'm gonna keep the high fat pass filter uh, off for now. So let's sweep this around, see what this does to the tone. So let's pull the variable, variable impedance down. Let's see what this does with the tone. So I may need to pull down the gate on grind machine because it's kind of lowering uh, the input volume, or the, out the output volume actually. Try pulling this up a bit. Yeah, it seems brighter when you raise uh, the impedance knob and you pull the impedance knob. It sounds a little brighter, a little bit more open, a little more crispy sounding. So maybe I might find the lower settings better for like a, sort of like a warmer uh, lead tone. Let me try a different uh, pickup too. So I'm gonna use my darker pickup. <laughs> And then with the higher impedance setting. Still sounds good, but it's maybe a little too bright, a little too hollow sounding. So maybe the lower impedance setting, so, uh, setting sounds better for this. Yeah, it gives me a deeper, richer, sort of creamier tone. Um, let's play around with the high pass filter. Um, the high pass filter is also a variable. So as you move the variable impedance knob, it also adjusts where the filter is. So let's try pulling this all the way up. Mm. So as I pull the impedance down, um, we get more of that high pass filter in. So it's cutting out the low ends. Remember that high pass filter means high frequency allow. So pass means allow. So we're allowing highs, but cutting the lows. So let's try adding more output to this. I'm gonna put this on the max setting. I'm going to pull out the high pass filter. I'll set this just to the middle. And since with the output set to max, I'm gonna have a lot more gain. 
I'm going to pull up the gate a bit so I don't get a bunch of background noise. <laughs> So it's a lot more live now because we've got a lot more gain um, and we've really pushed that gain to the extreme. So let's pull the impedance down see what that does to the tone. Yeah, with an extreme gain setting like this, there's really a lot of, uh, it's almost like a presence control on an amp. So with the impedance further up, there's more sort of shimmer to it and sparkle to it. As I pull it down, it's a bit darker, maybe more appropriate for leads. Because one of the things I like to do is I like to use my darker pickup for leads because I don't like the leads to sound really crispy and kind of nasty sounding. So by pulling in that darker uh, pickup, it sort of subdues the high end of the leads so they don't poke out and hurt your ears. So maybe I could pu try pulling this down for leads, but for rhythm, pull it up. Cool, let's try out uh, sort of like, uh, sort of like a crunch setting. For this, I'm gonna use the Bulldozer Amp Sim, also from Audio Assault. Pull this one up here. Uh, I'm just gonna, you, I'm just using the thick preset right now with uh, the delay turned off because it comes with the delay on it. I'm gonna go ahead and use my brighter pickup on my guitar. Let's start with the more setting on the output. Let's set the impedance to the middle. Definitely a lower gain setting, so I'm gonna pull the gate down a bit. Let me pull it up just a bit. There we go. Yeah, I like that tone. It's really focused, really dense, um, but not so much for leads. Let's try taming, um, pulling down the variable impedance a bit for that. So now the gate. Is taking over. This is a really nice sort of real creamy sort of like blues lead. Let's try the higher impedance setting. You, you can hear the gate's not overtaking it anymore. Get a little bit, I feel like there's a little bit more gain as you pull the impedance up. Now if I kick in the high pass filter and pull this back down, we're probably gonna get more of like a crunch sound because that's still sort of like a heavier sound. Let's try it on the minimum setting. Pull the gain down a bit more. really cool for sort of like a scratchier tone and the high pass filter definitely cuts out some of the bass so it's not as dense in the low end. Let's turn that off and let's pull the impedance back up. Let's go with the max output. Now we're going to kick the, the gate back in. 
So let's try this out. So we get some pretty good metal tones with this as well. Uh, let's try out something, lastly, let's try out a clean setting, a true clean setting. So let's go with one of the clean presets here. I'll pull the drive way down. There we go. A little bit of rasp in there. Yeah, it's really noticeable on clean tones. If I pull the impedance up, you get more of that shimmer, more of that sparkle. If I pull it down, it's a darker tone, almost like a jazzy tone. And pull the impedance up. Try out the high pass filter. So that's the Cloudlifter ZI from Cloud Microphones. This little thing is my favorite new tool for recording DI guitar. You can check it out at cloudmicrophones.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.